welcome to the fourth episode. Hi. Oh my god, I'm a mess today. <laughs> no, it's okay, we're all messes. Yeah. I have gotten a cumulative of like, what, ten hours of sleep over the past Total? three days? Yeah. I, uh, I actually, for the first time it's in about two weeks, for the yeah. first time in about two weeks, I actually slept in today. I'm actually pretty jealous. I woke up at ten. Dude, tomorrow's my sleeping in day. Oh, oh really? Oh. For me tomorrow is how close do you think I can get before he knows I'm here? I don't know. Can you put, can you put your nose in his ass? <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, God! Oh, he's still facing the other way, though, so that's cool. Yeah. Blood is coming out of his beaker. Sorry if you heard a buzz in the background. That was me. Yeah, it, sometimes David has this rare condition. Where I, every time I get an erection, I like, buzz. I didn't know we were going to go there, but... I don't Sorry. Know. No, it's it's fine. I like this game a lot. <laughs> <laughs> just I get really. Oh wait, there's a guy behind me. Huh? Hold on. Wait, wait. Just chill, dude. God. My God, I was just ah. I was reloading. Oh, I'm scratching. Am I backwards? I think I was backwards. Oh yeah, they took my guns away again. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Why not? The game legit didn't tell me where I was going. Like it, like usually there's some sort of thing at the bottom where it's like go here. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And this time it just. Oh, I forgot I can run. What do I, I can see there's wait. no there's no square what oh, there use what okay I guess I had to press the, that located retrieve the computer I didn't read it like I don't read every single thing in this game honestly do you think anyone's gonna get mad that we're not paying attention to the story uh I, is there a story to pay attention to no also are there audience to get mad <laughs> yeah is there an audience are there is Oz are what kind of a demographic would you want as our audience? Just five curious. year olds. Five year olds? Yeah. That'd be pretty tight. If we could. Like, uh, literally... You might want to rephrase that. It was pretty innocent up until you decided to think about, you know, talking about kids in the way that you do on the weekends. S look! When you go to the playground. Look! And I tell you, when David, I, what don't go to the playground. Vladimir does in his time. You don't is need. What he does. Vladimir, huh? Vladimir. <laughs> what he does in his time is what he does in his time. People should accept that and look away. <laughs> Turn up Instead the energy. of calling the goddamn police, Mrs. Robinson, okay? <sighs> oh, how do you how did he know I was here? Should not have been a thing. See, did you see what did, you, did you hear how many times I hit kill move? Yeah. Like I could have made a fucking macaroni and cheese sound effect <laughs> using the amount of times I hit that aim button, alright? Like, I thought you were gonna say sandwich. A, a macaroni and cheese sandwich? Yeah. Which I've had before? With ham. Ham? I would love to have macaroni and cheese and ham. Have you ever had a mac and cheese sandwich? Like, no. It is it literally delicious. one of the most disgusting things I've ever eaten. Maybe you're using the wrong type of mac and cheese then. You don't know that? Yeah, it's Have you tried my mac and cheese? Where is your mac and cheese made? Not here. Is it made uh, in playgrounds? No, it's made in, in fucking Cambodia. Is this your pickup line to use for, uh... No. Okay, oh yeah, Vladimir uses. I mean, no, <laughs> but I think I'll borrow it from him. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea that that's a smart Vladimir. <laughs> Sean, give me a pickup line now. Uh, okay, um, five pounds. What? You pick it up. Uh, I see, I see. You're, hold on, hold on. Can you sit, yeah. sit up for a bit? Okay, I'm sitting up. up, yeah. No, no, like no. stand up for a bit. Oh, you, stand up? What, okay, hold on, yeah. Yeah, well, what are you looking for? I don't see a doctor or a PhD, but I still see a smartass. <laughs> I didn't have to get up for that. Yes, they you can't did. see us. I need to. You could have easily just said, oh. "Oh yeah, sorry." I, I need to just look at Sean's butt for a second. <laughs> <sighs> look, I told you if you want, you know, to submit to your urges, you go to the playground. You don't go to me. <laughs> but it's legal, though. <laughs> I mean. That's what Vladimir would say. <laughs> what would Vladimir do? That's the question. Yeah, what would he do? I think Vladimir is stupid. <laughs> I think Vladimir's a furry, dude. Dude, really? Yeah. We need to play that furry game. Oh, God. So before we uh, started this up, we were looking through the Steam, Steam yeah, store. About that game, <laughs> we found a lot of interesting games. A lot of interesting games. A lot. But uh, I wish I didn't have to see... And we're gonna play a few of them mm. at some point in time because I'm gonna force David to just like he forced Tommy. I mean, we don't talk what? about Tommy. 
I'm sorry, Sean. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about mm -hmm. not talking mm -hmm. about any sort of rape. Uh, everything's consensual. No, 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 no. It's not rape if you get consent. <laughs> I mean, the consent being all like, be. <laughs> yeah, I'll do anything you say. Just don't shoot me with the gun. That's consent. Right? No, no, no. It's it's more like I'll hack your Minecraft server if you if you talk. <laughs> I'll turn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all this talk about Minecraft is. Uh, I feel like getting me uh, <laughs> hard and heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's making your uh, square tower turn cylindrical. But, oh, you can't have cylindrical things in Minecraft, Sean. Have you ever played Minecraft, you <sighs> fucking pleb? No, I haven't. I haven't. Did he throw a grenade? But like, really? What? what? Yeah, the you hell saw that, that, right? You yes. saw that. <laughs> <It's not going. laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, he froze! He froze! <laughs> oh, lovely. See, I want to make interesting commentary that doesn't devolve into offensive uh, rape jokes. Yeah. Because uh, rape isn't funny. Which, it's not. Which is okay if we say rape jokes then, because we're not funny in the first place. <laughs> anyway, I think you're funny. I think you're funny. You know, I think you're funny, too. Whenever I look at that face, I can't help but laugh. What? What? Anyway, oh, uh, you ass! I just lost this that right now. <laughs> no, fuck that. I take my leg up back. <laughs> no, but what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I want to make good commentary uh, over me just dying in the same uh, spots over and over again. But, um, the, the problem is this We can talk about game... Groundhog Day. Why do you want to talk about Groundhog Day? Oh, my God. I cannot believe you just didn't catch that. Wait, what? Groundhog Day! Oh, because I keep um... dying. Yeah. And then we respawn, and it's like nothing happened. The only downside of this is that Bro Bill Murray is in here. Yeah, Bill Murray's nice. I love Bill Murray. I like saying his name. Bill Murray. I love seeing his face. Bill Murray. <sighs> I like watching his movies. Yeah, like he, when he is on the screen, I can think, you know what? Name one bad movie oh. that... Never mind. Never mind. Wait, is there a bad movie or something? Yeah. Wait, what's the bad movie? Garfield. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are about to have an argument. Say, so. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me let me let me ridicule. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me just you know take back what I said and what it, let me clarify. Yes. Garfield two. Tale of two kids. Okay, maybe, maybe, I can accept that. one. I watched the first Garfield a lot when I was a kid, and I thought it was a great movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's not good. It's not. It's not good, but. It makes him a smile. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did he blow himself up? Yeah. No, he didn't. He just he shot the computer. Apparently, uh, Bill Murray didn't know that he was a, uh, taking the part of Garfield at all. What do you mean? Because, ah, oh, fuck. It was like one of those situations where he's like, oh, look, this certain director is uh, is making a movie, and I've heard of this director, and I want to I want to work with him. So, yeah, I'll sign on to the project. Uh-huh. But apparently, it wasn't the director that he thought it was. Okay. Oh, fuck. What was the director's name? Hold on. Well, okay, well, you, all right. Well, while you say that, I guess I'll tell you a similar story about the time Kevin Spacey became a cat. What? So there's this movie called Nine Lives you guys might have seen. And I know some secret background information about this movie that a lot of people don't know that really explains it. Uh, firstly, well, you, have you never actually seen the trailer for Nine Lives, actually? No, is it new? And like two years ago, it's the oh. Kevin Spacey movie where he's a cat and it like oh he, that he gets one. stuck inside a cat's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you know that that movie was actually supposed to be a black comedy entered? I mean, aimed at adults. Really? Yeah, it was supposed to be a black comedy aimed at adults that dealt with very serious issues, and it was supposed to actually be very dramatic. So in other words. Um, it was supposed to be like he got put in the cat's body and watched his family slowly deteriorate without him. And yeah. he's basically just there trying to tell them, like, I'm I'm the cat, I'm here to help, you know? Like, yeah. let me help you guys. Kind of. It's supposed to be a moral story regarding that. But uh, the studio that approved it, um, like, knew that. But then that studio got bought out. Oh. And then another studio took on the project. And they saw it, and they were like, you know what? This clearly needs to be a kid's movie. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Because it's a talking cat. And, you know, Kevin Spacey and a cat is funny. You know, kids laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. It'd be great. And uh, the problem was yeah. they left all the weird shit that's adult centered in it. Like, oh. for legit. One scene in there, like, spoilers for Nine Lives. I haven't seen it, but I know this is a scene. Spoiler alert. 
Uh, a kid tries to commit suicide. What the hell? By jumping off of a building. Like, what? his teenage son's like, I'm gonna kill myself, you know? Like, legit. What? Yeah, and it's like, everyone that watches this movie, like, remember, this is aimed at kids now. Yeah. It's like, what? So anyway, the movie's bad. <laughs> but I just I just find it funny, like, just... Why did you watch it? That's I, didn't, I, I didn't watch it, actually. Oh. I just know about it. Oh. But that's why I'm that saying. That was very detailed. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just saying, it's like, Oh my god, this movie, Nine Lives. I, I need to watch it. I need to watch it. I need to know. There's some movies that I wanted to watch. But I oh, yeah, that's right. I found, uh, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Oh, yeah, I gotta watch that, too. It, it's on YouTube. Is it? Yeah. Like yeah. the whole thing? Yeah, the whole I movie. I think I actually own it on DVD. Do you? Yeah, I need to watch it. Oh, okay. But uh, anyway, what, what's the director you're talking about? Oh, no, hold on. I think, uh... Because you were looking up Never this mind. whole time, then you put your phone down. Oh, sorry. You made no. me think you found your answer, no. but apparently you did it. It says right here that Bill Murray stated that he originally thought the script was written by Joel Cohen. It, oh, Joel Cohen? Go, Joel Cohen, yeah. yeah. But it wasn't until the recording process and watching uh, dailies that he realized that it was written by Joel Cohen, not the same person of whom he was thinking of. Wait, so there's two Joel Cohens? Yeah, because there's Joel Cohen with... Uh, with C O E N, yeah. and then there's Joel Cohen, C O H E N. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Do you know who Joel Cohen is? The actual director. Uh, that like? not exactly. No. He's the one that did Fargo. Really? And the Big Lebowski. Well, oh. it, it's it's brothers. It's Joel and something Cohen. I forgot. Oh, okay. But yeah, they specialize in making just like surreal comedy movies. Oh, he. Oh, okay. The Big Lebowski, No Country for Old Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. Okay. So wow. I, I can understand I can understand Bill Murray being tricked into that. But I can't imagine being like in the studio, right? And you're recording all these things and you're like, ha ah, ah, ah. and then you just sit in the editing room and you're just like, wait a minute. Oh fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well why did he do two of them? Paycheck. Right. Maybe contractually obliged. There's a lot that goes on in Hollywood. That's, I'm talking really like, badly right yeah. now. I'm sick, so just cut me some slack. But yeah, no, there's just there's uh, Hollywood's are you sick I again? I, I yeah, guess. Damn it. I guess. I would like to say it's allergies, though I know it's not allergies. Oh my god! Oh, no. that Jesus. one wasn't my fault. That one wasn't my fault. Okay, no, 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 no. You have that one. You have that one. Okay, so just so you guys know, it lagged shit right there. Yeah, <laughs> like no. really badly. Like I was picking up a shotgun and then I was laying on the ground dead. I want to learn accents, but I can't do them. I just start going into random voices. You just gotta let it feel natural, dude. Like, yeah, that's how accents work. Yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta, you kind of gotta study them a little bit. And you gotta actually like watch documentaries, not documentaries on like accents, yeah. but like, it's like just, no, I know. just watch David Attenborough, and you'll be fine. It, it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of understanding how to inflect certain, you know syllables and stuff like that. Yeah. I've just never been good at it. I'm pretty fucking atrocious I think, at it. I think the hardest accent... I think the hardest accent for me to, to, like, actually do is, like, a Scottish one. Well, you did a pretty good one in the car. I did? When we were singing Fuck With An Anchor. Oh, well, I mean, that's a song. And, like, you pick up speech patterns in a song and, like... Yeah. But, like, the best way that I can get into a Scottish accent is by fucking saying, What's heavier? A kilogram of steel? Or a kilogram of feathers? <laughs> Answer? The steel. <laughs> because it's heavier. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, maybe I should just watch Brave over and over again. Maybe. Uh, I would also like to point out that I'm pretty sure we just confused the audience by saying, like, you yeah. know, bringing up fucked with an anchor and not giving the context. Oh, yeah, no context to that? Yeah, whoops. Sorry. Uh, there's a pirate metal band called Hailstorm. Um, they're good. Um, yeah, they have a song called Fuck, fuck By an Anchor or Fucked with, with an anchor? anchor? Yeah, Fucked with an Anchor. But, no, no, I mean, to clarify, it is, in fact, it, it, you know, sodomy. Using yeah. anchors, so yeah. it's it's not like you're fucking, and there happens to be an anchor that's no. with you, all right? No, it's, yeah, yeah. It really, she really should be called fucked by an anchor. Yeah, but right. not yeah. the news kind. Fuck you, you're, you're a fucking, fucking wanker. Okay. We're gonna punch you right in the balls. Yeah, so you got the R, you got the rolling R. Yeah. I I, well, I mean, okay. To be honest, that's that's due to like me growing up with like Spanish okay. language. That's true. I, I can't roll. So like with Spanish, like with Spanish, it's like fucking mandatory that you're gonna roll your R's. Yeah, I can't roll my R's for shit. Really? Yeah, I can't do s accents for shit. There's so much. I think. Well, I guess I'm going this way. <laughs> Why am I processing this? Uh, this 
computer's broken me. Also, can I just say, uh, the other day we were watching like footage for Watch Dogs. Okay. I like Watch Dogs. Wait, the game? Yeah. Wait, wait, were you talking about the footage that we watched? That or? we watched, yeah. Like the, the, the like one with the, the train? Yeah, the one with the train. <laughs> I want to play Watch Dogs now. Like, honestly, I haven't had a big opinion of it. I know a lot of people gave it a lot of shit. They gave it a lot of shit because it looks uglier. And also because of the, the collector's editions and stuff like that. Wait, wait, I, the there was literally like 15 different collector's editions of oh, shit. Watch Dogs. Oh, yeah, I, I, just different things. I just got the regular one. Yeah, but all I'm saying is, uh, yeah, you know the gaming community, they just get antsy about little dumb things, you know what I mean? Watch Dogs was one of them. I didn't give a shit about those dumb things. I just wanted to, you know, I just didn't care about the game actually in general. Watch Dogs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just, it just wasn't interesting. No, I... I the car exploded. <sighs> No, I I liked it because it you know it was made by uh, by Ubisoft Ubisoft yeah and you know they made Assassin's Creed and a huge Assassin's Assassin's Creed sand a fascinating Creed tale yeah Fa what what anyway continue with your Creed of Assassins what? um anyways <laughs> no yeah so I thought okay yeah this look this game looks good and then you know being how old was I I think it was like nineteen no eighteen mm -hmm. I must have been eighteen or nineteen no no I was nineteen. Um, you know, the, like I saw what people were complaining about, and it's like, oh, it, it looks, you know, ugly when we got it, and I was just like, okay, as long as I get to play a game, I'm, I'm good. Uh -huh. And honestly, I like it. I, I like the stealth mechanics in it, I like the combat in it, the, you know, the weapon system is actually kind of cool, I guess. Uh, the crafting stuff is pretty cool, the skill, like, you know how, like, you get to upgrade, you know, different skills or yeah. attributes and stuff like that? I thought that all that was fine. I really didn't, I honestly didn't have a problem with the game. The only thing I do have a problem with is just the story itself. Yeah. It's just like a, it's kind of predictable, I guess. The characters are like, eh. But like the gameplay and just everything else besides that is actually pretty sweet. No, I, I, I do kind of want to play it, honestly. Just a little bit. Just I mean, because it seems like an interesting premise of, just like the world. How did I die? I, I, no, wait. How did I die? How did you die? Actually, that's... I just want to know how I died, that's all. I just want to know how I died. That's why I wanted to know. <sighs> this game's getting to me, man. Is it? This game's so getting to me. Like, it's just... <sighs> I'm pretty sure I beat this game. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. But I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this at all. Maybe, like... I think I mentally checked out last time too. You <laughs> mentally checked out. Yeah, cause like, like even I don't know how I got an achievement. Even now, like, like obviously by how I'm dying and all that, yeah. I'm not giving this game two shits at all. All right, I'm like, I'm cruise controlling right now. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. It's I mean it's just like point and shoot, point and shoot, point and shoot. Put this press X occasionally. Yeah, pretty much. So there's a lot of them coming in. Sean, uh -huh. what is a game that you like? But everybody else hates. Okay. You're gonna oh, hate no, my no, answer. No, never mind. Well, do you know oh, what I'm gonna God. say? I don't know. Just, just to say it. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Okay, I don't have anything to say about that because I have never played it. Never it's, seen anything about it. It's pretty objectively bad, okay. and if you find it funny, you're probably objectively a horrible person. Mm. But here's the thing. When I was playing it, yeah. to me it was so over the top ludicrous mm. that I couldn't help but enjoy it. That's the problem. That's why I actually enjoy it. Because it was just, it was just so, it's dated, okay? It's yeah. dated, it's bad. Wait, when did it come out? Like 2009? Uh, um, no. Something around there, yeah. Oh, it, okay. it was, it was, a, it was a while ago. Yeah. But it looked bad for the time it was released in. It looked, <laughs> it just, it looked bad. It played bad. Mm. It had bad premise ideas. You could only carry two guns at a time. Uh, there was so much of it that was bad. But then again, you could also draw dicks on whiteboards. Really? And you could draw dicks as an autograph when a little kid comes up and asks for your autograph. All right? You can go into the bathroom, no. pick up a piece of shit, and then throw it at anything in the room. Okay? Okay, honestly... You can pick up dumbbells that have like literally 400 pounds on it and throw it at aliens there okay. were just too many moments in it that made me just go okay <laughs> you know honestly at that point it really shouldn't be taken seriously at all at all well see the thing was, i think that's what makes it what might make it good yeah so that maybe we should play it on the show even i don't you even think? know uh, i mean at least a little bit of it because it's just there's a lot of it that was just like 
what? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, but I couldn't help but just laugh. Okay, <laughs> you, you literally at one point get shrunken down and drive an RC car through like a museum. And Why? It's just it's uh, it's there's just so much to it. That's just like oh, okay. God. You know what I mean? So yeah. I actually don't mind playing. I doubt a lot of people actually have played it. Yeah. But it, it is it's not worth playing. But it's like it's just it's funny. Okay. It's it's funny not in the humor way they they meant it to be. It's just it's funny. It's it's quirky. It's funny to laugh at. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah. And and honestly, the one thing that's holding me back from playing again because I have indeed wanted to play it again. Okay, the thing that's holding me back is that I've played exactly six point nine hours. Oh <laughs> Dude, my god. Forever. Exactly oh my god! I beat the game in six point nine hours. Oh my god! I can't play it. <laughs> I can't play it. I, I can't lose that. Can you screenshot that and send it to me as proof? It's already screenshot. If you go to my Steam profile, oh my you guys can't find this. But if you go to my Steam profile in my photography section, there's legit me. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking look it up. Six point nine hours. Post them. No, actually, it's on Facebook. Oh, it's on Facebook. It's on my Facebook, not Fuck. my Steam. Okay. I don't really do much Steam pictures, but when I do, it's usually something really fucking stupid, so it's not worth it. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it! So I'm this... I'm gonna fucking find it and post it on the Twitter and just... On the Twitter? On the Twitter. Twitter's magical nowadays. It is, actually. It really is. There's so many It only really depends things. on who you follow. I mean, that is true. I follow a bunch of people that are tired of our current political system, but they're funny about telling how tired they are about it. Uh oh. Which I'm pretty okay with. I'm I... not going to get political on the show, though. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get... No, actually, no. Screw that. Let's get political. Well, why do we want to get political? Because, uh, let's, uh, let me see. What can we get political about? I mean, there's a lot of things we can get political about, but I don't feel like it... <laughs> I just don't feel like it's a subject that Sean, people would... What yeah. is uh what is your opinions on the two-state solution? <laughs> if this is the kind of political we're going for, I can live with that. Okay. What okay. is, uh, what is, yeah, what is your opinion on the two-state solution? Well, first of all, uh, I, I don't think a lot of people even know about the two... You're talking about California, right? I don't I don't even know what I'm talking about. You don't know? No. Oh, well, I'm assuming you're talking about the new California thing, don't... Right. Oh, God, that... No, I heard about that. I wasn't talking about that, but oh, I heard what, about that. Wait, what, are, what are you talking about? I'm then? talking about New California. What are you talking about? That's New California. What? I, wait. I'm talking about New California, and you're talking about New California, but we're talking about different things? What? I... What? No, I I just pulled two-state solution out of my ass. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you didn't even have a thing for it? No. You just said two-state solution. Yes. Was I supposed to go with that and yes. find a thing to bring? Yes, I oh. didn't think that was a thing. <laughs> well, you Sean, do, I'm you, not a politician. You do know about New California. Yes, though. I do. I didn't know that had anything to do with being a two-state thing, whatever. Well, I mean, it, technically, California becomes new two states then. Okay. I just think it's really fucking hilarious because if you didn't know, California... New California, California sucks. You can't own ferrets. New California. Well, yeah. First of all, yeah. But New California is hilarious because it's just a bunch of old grumpy old guys that are like, I'm sick and tired of the Democrats winning in South California, so we're gonna make a new California and, and we're gonna win elections. And that was like, okay, okay. The whole thing around that was like, like based around Texas, right? I, I mean, maybe, but I think it's more about just gerrymandering. Speaking, speaking of which, I think school goes on in Texas. Oh yeah, everyone does. Everybody I fucking hate it. I'm just gonna use it to buy, to buy stuff. Yeah, and I was gonna lose, use it last year to uh, decrease my debt, but that didn't work. I had debt too. Yeah, debt sucks. We wanna talk about debt so we Let's can get all of our debt. viewers very upset about debt. Let's mm -hmm. get talking about debt. I spent all of my money on uh, drugs and gun cards and what? Oh, I think bubblegum cards are good too, I guess. Yeah. Bubblegum cards and fruit snacks. Now, are we talking about cards that come with the bubblegum or yeah. the cards being bubblegum themselves? Have you ever gotten one of those before? Yeah, of course. Okay. I've only ever had one of those. Just one, ever. It was a Pokemon one, too. Mm. I, um, honestly... When it, oh, they both died. Um, that was cool. When it comes to being a child, I wasn't one. <laughs> what? I just didn't indulge in childlike things. What do you mean? I'm very con concerned. like like you know no. What I'm saying is like I didn't do like common things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like as well, a neither kid, did I. But I mean that's true. But it's like I'm just saying I'm deprived. You're still crushed. Yeah, I know because I'm gonna I'm gonna. Let me hear you open the door. I'm gonna 
You know? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna... Whoop, into his brain with a knife. <laughs> But no, I'm saying there's just there's just many things that I have yet to even still do. You know what I mean? Because I don't know. Let I, me know so we can go and do it. Like one of the things I've talked about recently, and I, I honestly don't want to do it, oh. uh, is a bonfire. Really? I've never once had a bonfire. Really? Not one time. Dude, it's not my thing though. That's why. What no, do you I'm just saying that. You that's get just... to sit around fire? Yeah. That's the only real good thing about it. <laughs> that's not even a good thing about it for me, though. That That's a negative point for me. Really? Yeah, because why would I want smoke shooting into my face and making me smell that's like smoke? That's why you're doing it indoors. My point is... <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, fuck off. <laughs> my point is, uh, as a child, I was deprived of many normal childlike things because I didn't give a shit about them and I like doing the weird stuff. You know what I mean? I, I, like I, meeting I, I, Vladimir's. <laughs> Look, Vladimir didn't write fan fiction. I killed fiction. myself. Right? <laughs> Vladimir did not write, flan write fan fiction. Flan fiction. Flan, flan fiction. Flan fiction. <laughs> Sean, you. <laughs> flan fiction. Hey, you want some flan? Yeah, sure. Well, you can't have any. Why not? It was fiction. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> just because I had a moment early. Look, I've gotten to the point where I'm so sleep deprived that shit just makes me laugh. That should make me laugh. I, oh god. Like today, I, while I was at work, I was just talking to someone, right? And we were both fucking depressed because work's depressing, right? And so I'm just sitting there. We're not really talking much at this moment. So I just go, you know what? I can really go for some Italian food after work. And they go, what? And I was like, I could go for Italian food after work. And they're like, oh. You can go for a towering pig, and I'm like, <laughs> what? And like, you said a towering pig, and I said, well, I didn't say anything. First of all, I started busting up laughing <laughs> at the thought of a towering pig. <laughs> but I'm one after work. But I also couldn't stop loving the fact that how do you miss? Well, here? I mean, a towering Italian, Italian yeah. food pig? pig. Food. Okay. Pig. All right. Fair enough. Food fair enough. I'll, pig. Give, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Uh, anyway, I hate this game. I like this game. No, I fucking don't. hate this no, game. I, don't. I hate this game. Okay, he died. I'm gonna Let's blow this up early. What's something that I didn't do as a kid that was childlike? Oh, I would not know, because I am not you. Nor am I Vladimir. No, you're not Vladimir. Wouldn't it, it be exist. wouldn't it be funny if no, there was a happened. huge twist where I was Vladimir and you were Alan this whole time? No. That would have been a really funny twist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, that didn't, yeah. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, like thinking real hard right now of, of what I did as a kid. But besides finding Vladimir's as well. No, like, wait, what? <laughs> no, seriously, what did? Did you also lack your childhood? I think so. I just played video games a lot. No, that's actually exactly what I did. Yeah. I, I am so like, even if I suck at video games now, when yeah. I was younger, I was. Oh, I don't have a shotgun. It's a sniper rifle. It worked. Yeah, well, whatever works. No, I'm like, like seriously, like I know that's an old like, you know, I just played nothing but video games. Like, no, literally, I played nothing but video games and watched TV as a kid. I played Oblivion and Resident Evil 4 obsessively. Really? Yeah. I, no, I, I was the opposite. I played Pokemon. And I, I'm a Nintendo. Yeah, I know. I played right. Pokemon and I had Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube, which was fucking cool. Um, mm -hmm. What else did I play? I played Entry the Matrix, which was terrible. <laughs> I think yep. I mentioned that. Yep, you did. Um, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, was Godzilla this, King. Wait, what? Oh, it was in this that you yeah. that in here. No, no, uh, Godzilla uh, Destroy All Monsters Melee. That's actually really good, though. It, yeah, oh, my God. I would kill for an HD remake. Yeah, no, I, see, I, I was the kid that played, like, seriously the more, even when I was a kid, I realized this now, I played the more obscure games, I did yeah. not play, that's really weird, even as a kid, I was, I was a fucking snob, that's great, <laughs> Well, because I didn't really play Nintendo at all. Well, I, I feel like I played, like, more well-known games, but at the same time, there weren't, like, the big title games, like, I never played Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, I haven't either. You haven't either? I mean, I've played it, but not extensively. No, like, I've never even picked it up. Yeah, like, cool. I never owned it. I never knew anybody who did own it. I've never... I've only seen gameplay, and that's about it. Yeah, and the only fucking, like, uh, Zelda I've played is Twilight Princess, and I didn't even beat that. That's a, good, that's a good one, though. Yeah, I know, but it's like, still, dude. Like, no. Oh! oh my oh, god! Oh my god! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Holy crap! 
I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wh whatever comes. Wow. Cool. That, was like, that actually made me really well, that, warns, that warns a golf lap. But... This time I'm the only one, you're the only one doing it. Well, because I'm, I'm busy one. killing yep. him like that. The other one's still alive somehow. Wait, no, nope, those are going to explode, huh? Is that going to kill the guy that's supposed to die? Or... I don't even know where he is. I'm just going to put the bomb on the thing. Do it. <sighs> this game pisses me off so much now. You know, I have to off. say, speaking of Legend of Zelda, I think the Minish Cap is actually my favorite. Oh! Sorry to that angry. God. Oh, hi. We're fast forwarding. Okay. <laughs> We're fast forwarding. This game is literally driving me insane. I literally regret picking this game up. I regret playing it again. I regret everything about it. I regret Mickey Rourke. You? This was your it. idea. I know. But sometimes I didn't even aim at his head and he died. Sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Okay, and, and sometimes you make regrets. And sometimes you make choices that you regret. And sometimes you just end up killing yourself after playing too much Rogue Warrior. You, you know, know what I mean? And I'm pretty close to that. Speaking of regret, get the fuck off the dam. Awesome. Wait, what? That was the objective. Oh, that it literally said get the fuck off the dam. Are you serious? Yes. That's one hell of an objective. Oh, he died. But that guy's still alive somehow. You know, speaking of regrets... Yeah? I'm actually... So, you know me, I'm not entirely social, I really don't like people. Like, legitimately, I don't like people because I don't... I don't know, I, I've been trying to be a little more social lately. Okay. And it's backfired a lot. <laughs> how, how so? I get roped into conversations that I don't want to be in. Like? Like, uh, Lyft driver the other day? Uh -huh. I don't know where he started talking about the Second Amendment and gun control. Oh no. And made me listen to a podcast that had to do with that. Oh uh, no. And I instantly regretted uh, being, you know, friendly and social. Yeah, it's a very Which pretty, it pretty, topic. pretty much reminded me as to why I don't like to be friendly and social. <laughs> yeah, it, it, get... There was one driver that a guy where he ta was talking about music, and I told him, <laughs> Yes, what the fuck just happened? Nothing, right? just. Let's let it happen. Yeah. No, we're not. No, we're not. I mean, I was talking to this other guy, he was, like, talking about music, and I told him, like, yeah, I'd like to listen to a lot of older music. And he's like, oh, really? From, like, the 80s, like, the 60s, 70s uh, type music? I'm like, ah, more from the 80s. It's a lot of, you know, metal and punk. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, well, give me some of the cl more classic bands that you like to listen to. Oh, well, you know, the Beatles, the Who, the Doors. Anthrax, Slayer, Metallica, not Metallica, uh, Megadeth, yeah, uh -huh. Dead Kennedys, all, the, all that good stuff. And he's like, oh, okay, yeah, but what about uh, so-and-so singer? Yeah, yeah, you know what, sometimes, yeah. And I started getting, like, really uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, fuck, why, why? Do, I, why do I do things? Why? That seems like a pleasant conversation. It, no, it, it was. It's just that, like, I kept trying to remind him that, like, no, dude, I listen more to metal. Oh, I see. And, and he I just kept, like, getting pushing his own agenda. Yeah, like, himself. pushing the classic rock thing. I told him I went to a water, Roger Water. We went, I told him about the Roger Water concert. Mm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I had a really good time. It was really cool. I don't know a lot of his stuff, but I, you know, I, I indulged in some Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. Started going on and on about them, and I'm like, I don't. Okay, look. When I said I listen to Pink Floyd, I just meant that like <laughs> casually. Casually, I, I'm not an avid, you know, listener. I don't know. I was gonna say user. <laughs> yeah, you're more of a, you know, Vanilla Floyd, if anything, right? Well, uh, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna be the fucking hipster and say like, no, I know all of Pink Floyd's discography. I know all of their live concerts. I've seen them twice. I've seen. You know, no, I, I, I'm, yeah, just whatever's. How did I die? God. How? Uh... <laughs> I'm so sorry of seeing these two guys die over and over again. Uh, anyway, how about we talk about the one time we were in that awkward situation of that, like, one um, lady that talked to us something. Well, we're in a band, uh, if... We are, we, we, you know, we, yeah, I know, but some people might be watching this for the first time. We have, oh, but yeah. He looks like he's sitting. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're in a band, we're okay, a band. and one time we opened for a certain band. I, I'm going to say it in code. Actually, it doesn't matter if we tell them what band we open for, right? I don't like, that's not too personal. On the popularity on the band. It doesn't even matter. We actually told them the band name. Oh, Our okay. band name. I was thinking about more privacy. Anyway, oh. we opened for Green Jello once. High five. Sweet! 
Sweet. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this I girl, like... <laughs> after I set, was really drunk. Right? Oh, that chick. That <laughs> chick. I like your shirt. Oh. I like your shirt. My God. Yeah, like, exactly. Because we were literally talking to two guys that just oh, walked up and talked to us after the show, and they were really cool guys, you know? Yeah. We were just talking to them. Oh, wait, no, I think I was... Oh, my God. What happened? How do I... How do I... How do I keep... No, going? see, that... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I died. I don't know how I died. Anyway, this girl, all right? While we're in the middle of this conversation with these two bros, comes up and just says stuff. I don't even remember what she says. I just remember she's... Uh, and everyone just stops. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Everyone just stopped talking. We were just like, and then the two guys just went, "Go do your thing," and walked off. And we were like, "Huh." <laughs> so she started talking to my singer. Oh god. And me, me, uh, David, and our drummer Emmanuel uh, just were talking to each other uh, while he's talking to her. And he's just—I remember at one point he just like grabs me. He's like, "Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, no, like I remember as soon as she went up to him and started like." Touching his shirt, just like, or like touching his chest, like, I like your shirt. I just walked away. I <laughs> walked away because number one, I thought I wanted, I thought, okay, I honestly thought that, like, oh shit, this guy, this chick likes Mike. Uh -huh. Maybe Mike is gonna, you know. He do his thing. Hey. Yeah. yeah, but then I turned around and I saw a dude there kind of watching her a little bit, and then I kind of put two and two together, and then, yeah, then ends up that, that chick was that dude's boyfriend, and then that's when I really walked away. <laughs> and, um,. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but no, it, it was just a very, like, like, I walked away because, one, I, I, I didn't want to be, you know, the blocker, and, uh, two, I just, that was so uncomfortable, it's just, I like your shirt. Yeah, I wanted to help Mike, when he tried to rope me in to help him, I was just like, oh yeah, no, um, thanks for, you know, liking us, any fans appreciate us, it's generic, you know, bullshit, basically, Yeah. and I just remember that, you know, she would... <sighs> She would just come back and say something that was completely incomprehensible. She was drunk, all right? Very she drunk. was drunk. I'm dead. So you, you remember the part where like we all went upstairs to go dress in the public costumes, right? Yeah. So she went up there too, and she went up to Mike, and he's like, and she's like, hey. and she's like, oh my god, we're both up here now, and I just kind of like, oh god. I know. Oh my god. I it just. Was, See, those are the situations I mind, you know? Like, I don't drink. <laughs> well, anymore. Anymore. I mean, Vladimir. No, this is why I don't drink at all. This <laughs> is people like Vladimir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I uh, just... I just remember that whole thing being one of the most interesting, just, segments of my life. <sighs> I... This guy not die. I'm so sick of this game. I don't know, I'm always afraid to drink in public. I can't do it. I really can't. And for my 21st birthday, I did, and, um, what, what did we do on my 21st birthday? Oh, yeah, we went to go get some, like, I, I, I don't know exactly what they're called, or I guess, I think they're called, like, IPAs or whatever, like, craft beers? I guess? I think so, but I remember distinctively, like, one of them tasted like soap. Okay. Like, it tasted exactly like soap. Don't ask me how I know what soap tastes like, alright? I was a very curious child. Okay. Alright. Yeah. And I just didn't understand how people could actually drink these craft beers and actually like enjoy it. I'm like, are your guys' taste buds so desen desensitized? You will drink soap and not know. Good. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna blow blow it up the barrels. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Anyways, yeah, I drank beer. I, I drank beer that beer. tasted like soap, which might have been my fault because the beer, the, the the name of the beer had pizza in it, and so my dumb ass just thought like, oh look, <laughs> it'll be it'll be pizza you know, in liquid form. Be, be, yeah, and you know, I'm if, if I do drink, I just drink like you know, just Jack and Cokes, and that's pretty much it. I'm a basic uh, little shithead. You're a basic bitch. I'm basic. Bitch. I hate so that. Let's go do some shots off my belly button. Let's get some cheers. Um. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, but no. Um. Oh, I'm gonna. Ugh. I'm gonna pause for a second. Sean, don't drink. Don't drink. Yeah, don't drink. It's don't disgusting. Drink. I need a different gun. Don't drink uh, it. Hey, it's sir. not fun. <laughs> it's very. It's very. Very. Uh, not part of my whole repertoire. I you obviously don't know blame that. You. Yeah. I, it's, yeah I don't blame I'm more of a soda drinker. Yes. And sure. if you thought the pizza beer was weird, have you ever tried the weird sodas I've bought in the past? 
No. Do you know what kinds of sodas I have bought? And you can buy these too, kids, okay? You can buy these too. Just remember that. Lack of alcohol is I hit that kill move so many times. Um, yeah. So, uh, one, one, oh, this is I'll yes. make it fast then. I'll make it fast. So I, I bought bacon soda. I bought celery oh, soda. I, tried I bought bacon gingerbread soda. soda. I what? bought. They all. They're bad. They're all really bad. Okay. To be fair though, it made me run away like him right now. Uh, to be fair though, you got to drink the bacon soda cold. That that won't make it. It's disgusting. It'll make it better. I didn't say it'll make it good. It's disgusting. It tasted like cough medicine, to be honest. How did it taste? Well, gee, that's because I kept holding it in my hand after getting out of barrels, and I was just. What the fuck is going on? Oh, with the screen? Anyway, we're facing... Uh, I wasn't gonna point out the fact that we're lagging the shit, but I guess the cat's out of the bag. The game's lagging the shit. I heard uh, that there's a cucumber soda. I wouldn't be surprised. Is it like an everything soda at this point? That's true. I had a espresso soda before. Espresso soda? Yeah. Like espresso, but... Espresso soda. But with an S. Like, it's spelled. I say it like it's spelled. Okay? If you're supposed to say it how it's supposed to be spelled. Espresso? Espresso. Really? I was gonna make espresso. I was gonna make some sort of joke story, not joke, but story at least about espresso. So wait, have you not seen Young Frankenstein? I have. Oh, okay. I don't remember. He, that's when he went to the blind man's house, and then the monster had left. Like he he just like ran out the door, and the blind man was like, "Wait, where are you going? I was gonna make espresso." Is that is that really the line? That's really what he says. Yeah, Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman, dude. I don't know what you're saying. You re oh, really? Oh, okay. oh, shit. No, that line was improvised, and originally it was going to get cut, but the director was like, you know what? Or Mel Brooks was like, you know, fuck that. It was, that was way too good. We need to keep that. Yeah. Because, like, immediately after he said that, everybody just lost it. Yeah, no, every. Uh, he Good comedy moments come from moments like that. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to think. One of my favorite ones was The Life of Brian. Have you ever seen that movie? No. There's, like, a, a line in there, right? Where. That's Monty Python, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where there's like, um, this, um, no, they're all just dying and running, huh? I guess I'm supposed to get the fuck off this dam. Anyway, um, there's a line, right, where, well, not line, scene where Brian's giving the speech to a giant mass of people that have decided to follow him as the Messiah, and he's basically telling them, like, no, fuck off, I'm not a Messiah, I'm not shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and in this scene, extras were obviously everywhere, right? So they were only designed to repeat, like, the certain lines, you yeah. know what I mean? And oh, oh, there it goes. Cuts I think we made it. Good. Anyway, anyway, yeah. So, at one point, Brian's all like, "You're all individuals. You can all think for yourselves." You know what I mean? He's saying things like that. Yeah. And um, uh, I mean, I forget the exact line. Mm -hmm. The exact line. And oh shit, this is bugging me. But he's like, yeah, like he. It's it's something akin to like. You're all free thinkers. And then one guy, one simple little guy in the back goes, I'm not. <laughs> Something like that. And I know it. And the person next to him like hits him and goes, shh. Because you know they weren't supposed to do that. Yeah. And Monty Python thought it was so funny that they gave him a raise. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And that is the life of Brian. And the end of the episode, I'm <sighs> going to go kill myself. There's no more. Aliens. I'm going to go I'm poop gonna kill myself. and then I'm going to make a gun and then I'm going to give it to you to kill yourself. And then we're all gonna die. It'll be it'll be fun. Yeah. Us dying, right? It would poop. Yeah. All I can really say is, killing ourselves is such an obvious solution that I must only say doi. <laughs> oh <laughs> God, doi. <laughs> so obvious. First of all, alien is like, over. <laughs> now the, I was gonna. No, I'm just saying. Like the Minish Cap is actually my favorite Zelda. Really? Like all of all time. Like yeah. Like if you can know. somehow get your hands on a Game Boy Advance. If I can do that and get the, the Minish cap. Finish the Minish? Finish the Minish, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Jokey ha ha's. <laughs> Jokey ha ha's. Funny ha the funny ha ha's. <laughs> funny, funny ha ha's. The funny, funny ha ha's. <laughs> the funny. No, you're okay. No.